I want to know what you think your true love one is going to get you for the fifth day of Christmas. Welcome back guys. Did you guess what I was making? So here we have these plastic baskets. Very inexpensive. I'm just peeling the sticker off all of them really quickly. But I'm going to be making layered chocolate Christmas baskets today. So stay tuned and stick around. Our first layer in these two baskets will be brown decorative shredding followed by the white as you can see. Then we're going to add our first layer of chocolate. In these two baskets I am trying to stick with green for the wrapping. Can't get all the way green but most of it is green. Then we're going to put our fourth layer which is brown decorative shredding and the final layer of shredding before our huge candy chocolate treat on top. Look at the size of this thing. This Rocher is going to be so good. Your whole family can probably enjoy it. It's so big. So we're going to put these on top and then of course we're going to package it up. So I've grabbed the cellophane bag that we're going to be putting all of our baskets in, individually of course. Since this bag is large, again, we're going to tie it up, put a bow on it, and then we're going to shrink wrap the sides and the bottom as much as we can. So the ribbon you see here, I will be using for some of these baskets, not all of them, which is the pretty gray and white. We're going to tie this up really quickly. We're going to cut the top because the, the bag is pretty large and we don't need that much excess bag. Before we do the ribbon, of course, we are going to grab our heat gun and we are going to tighten up all of the sides and the bottom to make it nice and tight. As you can see, there's no air pockets left on the side or at the bottom. So we're going to finish this off by tying that bow. Our next two baskets will be different colors, starting with red, followed by the white. Now if you look closely, the white shredding has this fluorescent shredding in it, which just gives it that extra Christmas feel and look. So now let's go get our chocolate, and of course we're going to try to stick with all red. Impossible, I know, but we're going to try to make it look all red. Now once our chocolate is layered, we're going to go ahead and pack it with some more shredding on top. And of course that will be red and then white. So we have our final layers of shredding. Let's go ahead and grab that huge Rocher. I cannot wait for someone to try this. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen one this large. And of course we are on the fifth and final basket because today is the fifth day of Christmas. We're gonna layer this one with all three colors, starting with the brown, followed by the red shredding, then we're going to go ahead and add our chocolate before the other layer. Ah! Go ahead and grab that final and fifth Rocher chocolate. I cannot get over the sides of this, guys. I cannot wait for someone to try it. So here are all three different types of baskets. The first one is brown and white. The second is red and white. The third is red, white, and brown. So we're going to package all of these up for a special delivery. I don't know if I mentioned, but stay tuned. There will be a giveaway on the 12th day of Christmas. There will be rules and instructions in the coming video. So stay tuned, stick around. You may be the winner. So here we're tying up another basket, but in this case we are using the red ribbon. Guys, how many gifts do you think I've made since the first day of Christmas video? Let me know.
we are finalizing the last gift. And just to give you a hint, tomorrow's video will feature items that are miniature. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed today's video.